All right, in this video, I want to talk about uh, cleaning your brush. So the first thing you're going to do with your brush is get all the excess paint out of it. Hopefully in your cup of water you've done that, but there's still going to be a lot in there. So you want to run the water and just push your brush down on the bottom of the sink okay, and get as much of it out. So pressing down hard helps to spread those bristles apart and helps the water uh, to really get in there and wash it out. Once you've done that, then take some hand soap, squeeze some on there, and you're going to use your thumb and your forefinger and just work that soap. Flip it over, keep flipping it back and forth, and from the metal out, you're pushing paint out, you're working your thumb here, and you're pushing that paint out from the ferrule, from the metal part out. Just keep pushing it like that, okay? Working that paint out. Rinse it, and then do that. You might need to do that one more time. Get some soap in there. Hopefully this time the soap is uh, pretty clean. It all depends on what colors you've been working with. The darker colors will show up in there more, the reds and the greens and so forth. Okay, and then rinse it. Rinse it one last time. When you're here in the classroom, I'll give you some brush conditioner to put on them. Um, I don't have brush conditioner that I can, and then try to reshape your bristles, just dry it off a little bit and reshape your bristles so that as it dries, it kind of keeps its shape. And uh, if you have saddle soap at home, uh, if you run some saddle soap or run, run this over top of some saddle soap, it helps uh, condition your uh, bristles. Um, that's about all you can use at home, but as long as you clean it well, it should be in good shape. So let me just show you what happens if you don't clean um, your brush as well. Uh, that acrylic paint, when it dries, it is um, like plastic. And what has happened here, you can see how those bristles are separated because paint got down in there and hardened and it separated everything. And you can see when I go to, here's the one, the one that I cleaned, see how it it bends all the way down to the ferrule. It's got nice flex, you know, which is going to allow you to really spread the paints and not dig into your canvas. Okay. This has, I can push on the tip right there. That's as far as it goes. It won't bend all the way down because that, I'm pushing on that and I can't bend it because that is full of paint and it's hardened. It's like rock. Okay. The other thing that can happen if you don't clean the tips, you can see all that paint that's on there that's dried in there and you can't get that off. You could try maybe a sandpaper and try to sand that off, grind that off of there if you allow it to dry, but that's paint that just got you know a little bit on the tip, but then it was allowed to dry. See, there's none down in the ferrule. It's got good bend to it, but it's dried on the tips. When that paint dries, it's like rock. And once it's dry, you can't clean it off. You have to clean it while it's still wet and it's important to get all that out and to make sure they're clean because these are your brushes you want them to work well for you you got to take care of them